Welcome to the first ever Fine Your Peak Podcast. podcast. Oh, oh, I went long. Way too long. <laughs> Way <laughs> too long. Yeah, you kind of like rizzed it up. Sorry, there. sorry. I stole the thunder. Today, we are talking about what we would do to go viral in 2024. So let's kick it off. That's a buzzy subject. Like, I, I'm liking this, you know? Uh, even Me just too. like the term viral, like, I think a lot of people have like an icky feeling around like virality because it's like a lot of people do some like gimmicky shit to go viral. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I think just like the term going viral for some people might be like, ah, icky. Okay, what know? do you consider This is awkward viral? because everything I'm going to talk about today is gimmicky shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I want to know like, what do you consider viral? I, I don't think that you have to have a video with 50 million views to go viral. Like I think if you can consistently create videos that get hundreds of thousands of views that is viral to me mm. a viral creator but i think a viral piece of content one if viral one piece, of, piece content, of content it has to be like a few million i would say over um, over one million views for me would yeah. be a viral piece of content i feel like it's, it's so subjective like there's no like set number do you know what i mean where it's like yeah, if you get five million views you're viral i think it's it's just it's well everyone has their own opinion yeah so true like we've had videos with over 10 million that have had very little impact on our lives mm. and videos with only a million that have had way more impact like news and like that kind of stuff true that's very interesting let's just get right into it what would you guys do to go viral? So let's just say right now you had 24 hours on a brand new account to go mega viral. What would you do? I mean, it kind of depends what the account was. If you were a car salesman, how would you go viral? Oh, buddy, in don't even a day. Oh, I was hoping you'd give this this one to me. I think about this a lot, actually. What? Um, Why? This specifically? This specific? Okay, so car salesman. Yeah, just to just to like backtrack on that a little bit. Okay. I feel as though if I were to have like a default thing, like if everything came crumbling in on my life and like I just ended up not on the street, but like at a low. You would sell cars. I would sell cars. You, I think you would be the worst car salesman. <laughs> I would You're sell, way too nice. Dude, I would, You're I would, too emotional. Yeah, that is, that's my strong suit. I would form connections with people and I would get them in a vehicle that is right for them and that supports their lifestyle. And that's how I, I don't know the content. industry, but that doesn't sound profitable for car sales. <laughs> okay, Why wouldn't so, everybody do that? So <laughs> <laughs> I think part of my reason is I got my start in the automotive industry. That's when I first learned about creating content and like where I first started creating content. So I just got to watch a lot of what the salespeople were doing. And like at that time, it was very, very early in Instagram. And I don't, TikTok wasn't even around yet. Instagram and Facebook were kind of the apps. And these guys would like occasionally make videos and things like that, but they'd always be asking me for help. And I was like, this is so unique because I'm helping these guys generate leads and get sales. And I like, I'm not getting any of that commission. Like these guys are here. These guys are making money off my back, off my time, <laughs> my brain. So this is like a, you have a vendetta. I have a vendetta. <laughs> I have a car salesman vendetta. Uh, no, but it, it's just something that like has come to mind just because I think it's interesting. Okay, paint yeah. me a picture of okay. your, what would you so, do? What would you do? If I were a car salesman, I would, I have this thing that I would love to try, which is the 24 hour test drive. So I, it, either if it's them that coming, sounds like car rentals if it's them coming into the dealership or if it's me going out on the street and saying if you come on a 24-hour road trip with me i will pay your first month's payment or i'll put down your down payment for this car Whoa. and so then they'd be like where are we going i'd be like it's a surprise mm. are you in oh i'm hooked. 12 hours 12 hours let's say they come that to makes the more sense they come to the dealership i say come on a 12-hour road trip with me if you're interested in this car 12-hour road trip i'll pay your first month I'll pay your down payment, whatever that is. Where are we going? It's a surprise. Whoa. So then the whole point of the content, and this is what I think is genius about this, is you're taking them on like what, what actually ends up being a really unique adventure, but where for one, you get to know me, you get to know the customer, and you get to know a lot about the car. You get to know about like the storage capacity. You get to know about like the fuel mileage. Mm. And so maybe it's like, let's say it's a Jeep. You're taking it off road. You're showing its versatility. And all of this is happen happening very subconsciously. So it's like you're getting introduced to the car, you're getting introduced to me as a salesperson, and by the end of it, you formed a friendship. And ideally, they stay the 12 hours, I put the down payment, whatever. Hopefully by the end, they're like, you know what? I can cover it myself because like, 
it's gonna be, it's get really expensive. Because <laughs> at some point on the trip, you'll say, "Yeah, I'm having a really hard time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Money's real you know, tight right now. <laughs> my life's kind of just like crumbled in the last little bit." You think you could grab gas on this next one? <laughs> I'm actually selling cars out of pure desperation. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> I used to have a successful business. But that's uh, I, I just I feel like, like it. I think it'd I be like fun. It I think it'd be a fun a fun thing to do. It sounds like it would be an emotional journey. For sure. Yeah. What would? How would you guys improve that? Oh yeah, just the hook. Like, if you go on a twelve-hour road trip with me, I'll pay your first payment. I'm like, yeah, of course I'm watching that. Perfect. One hundred percent. What crazy adventure are they going on? I think that could be like a three, four-minute video. I love the secondary hook of like, you're not gonna know where we're going till the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you know, because then I'm like, I'm watching till the end. Like, are they going to McDonald's? Are they going to like a really cool viewpoint? Like, where the hell are they going? Yeah. yeah so that is, is like he abducting them just straight up. <laughs> I feel like that's that's the bit one of the bigger lessons we've learned, not more recently, but like it's been really impactful. Is like making sure that there's a reason to watch to the end because like oh. that on its own yeah. is really entertaining it's like oh it's strangers in a car but adding the surprise element of like they're going to a destination now you're like well i want to see where they're going so that gives you a reason to watch as like the yeah. conversation unfolds like i was gonna say it reminds me of the keep the meter running have you seen that one yes. it's a guy who like hails a taxi is like keep the meter running take me to your favorite place yes. and then he just talks to them the whole time hey take me to your favorite place and keep the meter running my favorite place is the casino where the heck's the casino in New York? Right by JFK. That's okay, let's go. Dude, mm. great format. We haven't talked about this yet, I don't think, but mm. apparently that's actually like a pitch, like it's a, that's a TV show. It's oh, a, no way. It's a TikTok TV show. Like the people who plan that, they have one other one as well, but it's like the first TikTok TV show. And what? like they're kind of what? like using it as a case study to be like, you can get the watch time on TikTok better than TV. Whoa. And I actually, ha I have not fact checked that. Do you that. mean like 30 minute? Like. I don't know if that's the plan long term, but I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. literally just heard this like conversationally so the other day. So you could be starting a rumor. Uh, it could be fully a rumor, but <laughs> that's what I heard. And I was like, but I think that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Like that people spend a lot of time on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I believe it. I also, I feel like I'll get like three minutes into a video, not knowing how long the video is. And if I've made it that far, it's like, I, like here. it could be like 45 minutes. I'm, I'm probably going to watch the whole oh, thing. Yeah. yeah. I love so the like, characters. But you now. know what's the worst is when they don't deliver the payoff. At oh, the end. that the worst video I've ever seen in my life on TikTok. It was like <laughs> yes. four minutes long. And it was this girl and it, she was in a water balloon and there was a hose going into the water balloon. It was like a massive, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, like a like, human sized like, water balloon. I'm like, logistically, how is this working? Okay. Human, human sized water balloon okay. with a hose going into it. And the caption was is. Her little heads just sticking her out? Her head is sticking out of the water balloon and okay. that's it. And the caption is, it pops. And she put, and sorry. Wait, it, Wait. Po it pops question mark? It just, it pops, period. Okay. You had a question mark on that in your voice. Oh, so no, like, no, it was period. Like, they like stated, it pops. Yes. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, yeah, I want to see it pop. That sounds very <laughs> interesting. I've never seen, <laughs> I've never seen idiot. a balloon that large pop before. I'm curious. It doesn't pop. It's like four minutes you long and you're like, thing. it's going to happen any moment, <laughs> any moment, any moment. Dude, any moment. What is your for you page? Yeah, like? his for you page must be wild. You get some crazy. I content. mean, that had like thirty million. Yeah, like, I guess that's like a pretty just like. You guys, if you saw that, you would have you would have watched. It was <laughs> interesting. I don't. I, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, who's up next? Okay, Glenn. Yeah. Um. Okay, so we're picking a niche for you. Yeah. Tell us. I feel like you used to. Um. Didn't you work in a restaurant? I did. Like, what if it was like a cook, like a cook, like a home cook, just mm, an at-home cook? Good oh. one. Because I feel like a lot of people are trying to like share the recipes yeah. and things like that now. Okay, I actually, this is something I wish I had the time to do this because it would 100% go viral. Oh, whoa, you're so confident. Yeah, this is actually something that I've thought about many times. <laughs> you guys like this think about perfect. weird things. You know, you know, like the, the ninja ice cream maker. It went viral like a few years back. Everybody was doing like recipes. It's still viral doing regular meals as ice cream. So like today, I'm turning a burrito <laughs> bowl into ice cream and finding out how it is. 100% I would watch to the end of that video to find out whether it actually makes good ice cream. Yeah, but then oh. it's that's so bait and not, not to poke holes in your idea. I like it. But then it's just, is he letting other people try it or is it just, or him? Are oh. you letting other people try it? That's, I think, what you're missing. is like, if you're making it for yourself every time, it's like, mmm, yummy burrito oh, ice like, cream. There's like, your wife's a judge. Someone's yeah, a judge. Yeah. Or like, that you would, invite that someone would over take for it, dinner or something. That would take it to the next level, for sure. But I think even one person, it's just like, 
I am me personally, I'm <laughs> wildly curious if you could make ice cream out of any dish, like butter chicken ice cream. Wooded yeah. ice cream? It's, I think it's just a texture thing for people. Because, like, the flavor, if you make a good butter chicken, there's no reason it can't be ice cream. Exactly. But is that actually showing your skills as a chef? Like, do you think it would, like, let's oh, take no, it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this is so surface level. So, but this is just to show, like, your person, like, your personality. You're trying to, like, I'm just thinking from, like, a creator perspective. This where is it's, like, purely if I wanted to get 100 million views in the next week. Okay, okay. I would just do every dish see if it ice creams also like by the way we aren't gonna have time to do these ideas so like i really really oh. hope somebody <laughs> turns these into something like if somebody who sells cars can do the thing that i said i would be so fired up i would love oh. to maybe even like come on that journey with you i sincerely hope one day i'm scrolling and i come across somebody <laughs> creating a subway sandwich <laughs> ice cream also, like the the partnership opportunities with oh, that. Oh, huge! Yeah, like, huge. Oh, any man. restaurant, any anything, anything. Literally any food. What that reminded me of is like this was actually the I think the first format I ever saw on social media. Do you remember Will It Blend? Mm. Mm. I was yes. like one of the first YouTube videos, and I think it was for a blender company. I where think they it, would. I think it didn't start as it, but then it became like sponsored. Sponsored. Okay, because yeah. I just remember sure. they would just put like. Like anything, like, Just a, like phone a phone in a blender. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, the one. <laughs> the one thing we both yeah. synchronicity. I think I'm gonna push the smoothie button. Good format. Uh, yeah. Great format. Isn't and way more interesting, will it ice cream? Like, way more curious Isn't about that. Isn't there a father son duo that does something like that? I don't know, that's what's inside. That's cut oh. it in half, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still cool. We came here because we wanted to see what's inside of a rattlesnake rattle. Yucky. Great format. Really good format. I want to know what's inside of everything. Everything. Yeah. Until you see like 10 and then you're like, yeah, it's kind of always what I expect. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. That doesn't hit for you. So that's a format maybe that like... That said, I would probably watch it every time <laughs> if it came up on my feed. It's still like going to be more interesting than most of the other things that I see in a day, you know? Right. But, okay, it's a great idea. <laughs> Are we going to rate all of these ideas after? I feel like... Like a, we're our I don't own know. I think judges? they're all pretty 10 out of 10. Okay. <laughs> Zero room. No for pressure, Meg. Me <laughs> Meg, I feel like you're always like I picture you giving like keynote speeches to people. Like if oh. I could, if I could have you, mm. like if I could wake up in the morning and like go into my bathroom to start my morning routine. Oh, and you're, this is going. What maybe is, maybe not in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little weird. <laughs> Like, maybe you're yeah, Meg. I want to listen to you while you're on the can. You got on this. The can. Maybe you you're downstairs. Do you're downstairs. Okay. <laughs> okay. And you're giving me just like a keynote speech on my life. Like I feel like you'd be a good life. Or like coach. a life coach. Yeah, like a life. Whoa. coach. Life coach content. How would you go you think viral? I'd be a good life coach. Oh, I think you'd be great. Oh, that's cool. I wonder what qualifications I need for that. Probably something. Yeah. Like, do you need like a certificate yeah, or something? How would I, you have a certificate? Can you just in, say like, you want to be a life coach? I'll. I'll ask my life coach. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but Ed... I don't know. Like, like, if you think of, like, have you ever asked him, like, what? How are you qualified? I actually don't think I have. <laughs> he just gives great oh. advice. Hmm. You could just be a life coach tomorrow. That's true. Yeah. Well, let's. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. Maybe he's KKK. worked very hard. I think he's worked pretty hard. <laughs> at you, it. There's more than just giving pretty good like, advice. But you just sparked an idea. You just sparked an idea for me. Uh, okay, here's my idea. Okay. Going off, I liked the ad advice. Okay. I would take mm -hmm. a sign, mm. a cardboard sign. Love yeah. sign content. Okay. Love and I would, in a black Sharpie, maybe like a glitter Sharpie. I don't know, something fun. I would Whoa. write, I would write, um, um, maybe like, I don't know. I'd have to think, I'd really have to put some thought in exactly what I'd write, but something along the lines of like, feeling sad, question mark, free advice. Or something okay. like that. Okay. And I would stand on the street and wait for someone to come up to me and then I would obviously have a camera set up and I would talk to them through, like talk them through, like if I'd have them ask me a question and I would talk it through with them. With my idea being that I would really want people on the other end to be like, oh wow. Like not buying into like my service as a life coach, but like me as a human. Okay, okay, let's play this out. Um, okay, no, I walk up like, to you, you have the sign. <laughs> oh yeah, this um, is good. Hi. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm feeling really, really sad. Really today. sad. Things are dark. Extremely sad. Okay, tell me, tell me what's going on. My dog ran away. Um, Bad owner. Two months ago. Don't know if uh, he's coming back or not. What advice do you have for me? 
have you considered getting another dog? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I think I would like, first, tell me tell me about your relationship you had with this dog, first of all. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, we were, I had nobody else. Just the dog. We were thick as thieves. What does that mean? I'm just really close, I think. I think, yeah, I'd have to put some more thought into it. But I, yeah. I like the idea of the like, Cardboard sign Me too. showing my personality. And I, I do agree, there just need to be a secondary hook though, for sure. Mm. Honestly, for like the cardboard, like it there doesn't even need to be. You don't think so? I saw a video the other day and it was um it was the same thing, cardboard sign, and it was um stand in the circle if you're sad, and then this like lady went and stood in the circle and the guy just played a song for her. Stand here if you've had a bad day. Yep. <laughs> Maybe your heart is breaking or maybe just fail alone. And it was like a whole song, like way longer than it should have been. Like I think if you so had made it like a done. third yeah, for music, yes. Uh, uh, great idea though. It did really well. Coaching. It got like exactly, but it got like thirty million views, something like Whoa. that. It was yeah, really good. But then I watched it again and the lady that came up was mic'd before she walked up. So it had to have been like his mom or something. Fake. Yeah, it was really interesting. Bang. We're like watching it the second time, very obvious. Because she was like, oh, what's this about? And you could hear it like really clearly. I'm okay with that. I, I'm okay viewer, with it too. I don't care. I honestly, if I ever see anything where I'm like, ah, this is probably stage, I if I'm genuinely enjoying the content, I do not care. That's the thing. It doesn't bug like, it's me. It's like everything is staged in life. Like TV shows, movies, everything is, we're just in this big simulation staged thing going on. So it's like, if... If it's staged, I'm fine with it. It feels like the same people that would be mad about it in the comments are the same people that would stand up at a magic show and get mad about it not being real magic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like those people. Yeah. Oh, I like that. And it's like, I, I, don't, I don't care if those people are mad. I think like, that's a, a really important takeaway from all of this is like you and I both like are leveraging unique new people, strangers in mm -hmm. our content. And you're going to see a lot of stranger content. Like yeah. it's just one of those things that humans are just innately so curious with new people. It doesn't have to be a stranger, but it's a unique way of introducing a new relationship and getting people curious about the questions you're going to ask. People love yeah. that, like seeing that human to human like um, interaction. It also just feels like like I would be scared to do that. So you're living vicariously through this person doing something way bolder than you would ever and it's do. Different every time. Like I yeah. don't. You can never get sick, in my opinion, of stranger content because yeah. no matter what situation or niche or whatever you're in. It's always going to be a different outcome. Yeah, so always a new person, always Ugh. a new conversation. Good format. The great format. Such a good format. Stranger content, so good. Okay, what yeah. are the best videos that you guys have seen ever lately? Okay, that would crush for different genres in 2024. So, like opening the the table completely to any viral idea that you think would crush in the coming year. So like, Whoa. are we talking, are we talking formats? Formats across every niche. Obviously there's a lot of different formats and there's a lot of different ways to approach these formats. So like something, not, I noticed none of us mentioned skits, even though a lot of us have, mm. we got our start from doing skits. Like yeah. we did a ton yeah. of skits. <laughs> yeah, we we come from a background of writing ads and like making funny ads. Yeah. And that was our first like step into content creation. But I feel like that takes like a whole nother, I feel like skit content is one of the harder things to go viral. Yeah, with. yeah, it's harder to get right. Like the stranger content is low hanging fruit. Like mm -hmm. you can like have never made a video in your life, just put up the phone and do something with a stranger and it yeah. will, has a good chance of going viral. Whereas skits, like you try doing that, just like putting up your phone and just doing a skit on the spot, yeah. cringe. Yeah, I feel like, the biggest opportunity is just what I was going to say is the polar opposite of <laughs> oh, what no. you just He's said. He's crying. What I want to see more of in 2024 <laughs> is like the unhinged <laughs> side of TikTok. Like, you know, um, Pearl, I can't remember oh, her last yes. name where she goes up to people and says, can you hold my phone and film me for a TikTok? Yeah. And then they do it. And then she like chases somebody <laughs> like a dog. Yeah. It's so uncomfortable. Can you hold my phone so I can make a quick TikTok? Thank you so much. It's already kind of recording and ready to go. Thank you, kind soul. Or there's another guy who in um, in like a grocery store, he'll do the same thing. Like, hey, can you hold my phone and take a quick video of me? And then he grabs a box of I've cereal. Goes, him. What's up, cereal people? Today we're doing a video. Of and the guy holding the phone is just like 
so, so scared. Hi, I run a YouTube channel where I do snack reviews. Is it chill if you get a quick video of me? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and we have some new num nums today. <laughs> So you like social experiments a lot, hey? Love them. They're, okay, my favorite video that I've seen probably I'm in pretty the last sure you like. said my favorite video like ten times in this conversation. They're very similar though, so that it makes sense. One of my favorite videos in the last like six months, it's a guy who goes up to random people and tells like the setup for a joke. So he was like, "What do you call a priest in a bar?" And they're like, "Oh, what do you call it?" He's like, "Lamborghini." concussion and the guy will start laughing because it's like he's on camera and he doesn't want to like not get the joke and then the guy goes explain it <gasps> and the person just no <laughs> it's so funny why is this a fun like why is this a funny joke oh my god yeah, i hate like, that why is it funny explain it and you can see their hearts just oh. racing oh. oh and it'll get like 50 million views and they just look so bad. What do you call a cat with no tail? I don't know. Alabama moonshine. <laughs> you get it? You get that joke? Yeah. yeah, explain it. What do you mean? I can explain the joke. Dude, I really hope that never happens to me. <laughs> I would laugh. It doesn't matter what they said. If it was a stranger, I'd be like, oh, funny joke. Dude, <laughs> when I can't hear what somebody said, I just laugh. Yeah. Like, exactly. if I've asked what twice and they say it again, I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Too. I'm not gonna ask what three times. That's crazy. <laughs> but like that's how easy it is to go viral with like stranger content. That's true. Like, like that is the social experiment so thing. It is like it's just like that what you were saying earlier, Meg. The human element of mm -hmm. it. It's just like so uncomfortable and it's so cringy, but that feels good. Another one that I saw was a guy who would just go up to people and like have some kind of comment like uh, nice weather today, hey? And they would start, they would say like one sentence, he'd be like, oh, okay, chatterbox, oh, and then yeah, walk yeah. away. <laughs> or he'd come up, he'd be on vacation, he did it a lot on vacation on like, in like Mexico, he'd walk up and ask a question like, hey, do you know where the local market is where I could get some fresh fruit? And they would just, bear, like, they'd get half a word out. He'd be like, yeah, yeah okay, easy, easy, <laughs> sir, talks a lot, and then just walk away. And the people uh. would be like, Hey, any shot you could point me in the direction to Fort Lauderdale Beach? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, all right, all right, all right. For one, how do you even get the idea to do that type of content? And for two, like, how do so many people watch it? I mean, I did. Yeah, it's, it's so hard not to. <laughs> like, it's magnetic. Have you seen the one where the guy mumbles questions for interviews? Okay, so it, he goes up to people just on the street. He's like, hey, I mean, you need to get... get, get, get. <laughs> <laughs> and the person's like, oh, I'm sorry, I, I did didn't catch it. Oh, you go up, get, 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 get. It's so funny because the people just like they try to like understand him and answer him, and then once in a while there'll be somebody who tries to actually like answer the video, and he'll be like, "Yeah, no, but like uh, there was one time where I was like at my house and that happened." <laughs> oh no! Uh, we're gonna go mumble to people again. Excel, like when you on UVU. Excel, like how yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I don't know. I just kind of like sit down and just grind it out and then feel like I'm going to die. But oh, like, like, like already like setting stuff? Yeah, yeah. Just like have no social life and just go. You know what I mean? Yeah, like like for like always like sitting Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah, it's wild. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. He just kept answering. Oh, yeah, okay. So funny. So like unhinged. <laughs> Would that be your advice to people to do more on? That's just what I want to see more of. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're clearly already seeing a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like there's like two, two halves of social media and it's like the good productive and then like the kind of like, Trash. True. Cha like Trash. chaotic evil. <laughs> and yeah. that's like what people are, are offended by is when people will do anything to get views. But like some of it's really funny to watch. But I so love funny. when brands in particular can have a bit of both. Mm. You know, when they're they, they're not they're they're not afraid to stray from the educational side of things, and yeah. they're willing to show a bit more personality. True. And so, like, I feel like if 
if there's any brands listening, like working in a bit of that social experiment, obviously it doesn't have to be as unhinged as that, but working in some of that like social experiment content could be really interesting to explore. I yeah, think. we yeah. love an unhinged brand for sure. What's, what's <laughs> your favorite example of that lately? What's a brand doing it right? Oh man, well, okay. <sighs> Liquid Death is like, oh yeah, that's like what they based oh, like their whole. Oh, like the the taser. That was so good. Like, I, okay, the Liquid Death video. Let's let's talk about that. Have you seen that one? No. Oh. So, people always say talk. People always say about Liquid Death. It's it's no different than any other water. Why would you spend more money on it? Like it tape other water so tastes sorry, better. It's, it's just a water. Company. It's just a water. It's just a brand. water in a can. It's in water a can. in a can called Liquid Death. Yeah. Okay. And they've made a brand around it. They do a bunch of like really cool creative stuff. Okay. But so like they had this video where people do a blind taste test because everybody's like, oh, your water's not good. Like I like Aquafina better mm. or I like smart water better. Yeah. And they're like, okay, prove it. And so they have people come in and they do a blind taste test <laughs> with like several different waters. And if, and they say, tell us which one's the worst. And if it's not Liquid Death, you get tased. Like Taze. a literal taser. Like a taser. Yeah. So they have these people come in and you can see they're like, they're, they're thinking about it. They're like, can I have another sip? <laughs> and they'll, they'll take another <laughs> sip. They're like, okay, that one's the worst. <laughs> Just get tased. That is unhinged. Literally the worst water I have ever tasted. <laughs> Oh, ah! that's and like such a good hook. So good. Such good payoff. Cause you're not going to watch. You're not going to not watch to the end to see if somebody gets tased for picking the wrong water. I, I do feel like there must have been some crazy legal ramifications oh, that they went through for that. Contract I, was thick. I wouldn't suggest that to brands, but like that is like a far. Like, I just think like, I'm more so think saying on like the person, like Wendy's on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Like just have a bit of per have fun with have it. Have fun with it. If something popped up in my feed from Wendy's, I'd expect it to have that same level of personality. Like they do. Whoever's running that Twitter account, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that's what I'm talking about. It's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. language you're using. Let it be a little more loosey goosey. I feel yeah. So it's X now. Yeah. Remember? Sorry. Yeah. So those were our examples of how to go viral. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you do it. Hopefully, some either give them. a ton of value or absolutely no value at all. That's our advice. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like those examples were pretty solid. I'm going to go write him a cardboard yeah. sign and stand out on the street after this. Oh, really? That I'm going to make some weird ice cream. I actually <laughs> would like for you to do that because I'm curious to try it. Should I do oh. a dinner party with only... Oh, do you like a like an eight course meal, all just with different ice cream? But creams? you don't tell people that it's all ice creams, or you do? oh until they get there. Because it'd be cool. Imagine if you come to a dinner and there's this beautiful spread laid out, like you've done an immense job pr like preparing dinner, and, yeah. and you all <laughs> and, and you all sit down, and then it's like, okay, before we eat, I will be converting <laughs> this into ice cream, and you take all of the beautiful dishes and you just blend them up, like a full Whoa. chicken, like a yeah, like a butter chicken, like a delicious butter chicken, just bzz, ice Wild. cream. I like the idea of courses though, like. Like what would a Caesar salad ice cream taste like? Oh. Yeah. It probably like why wouldn't it be good? You well, know? because I think What's your well, liquid though? What is your liquid? I, I don't think you need to. Of course you do. Like well, in the ninja cream Caesar you dressing. put like fair Yeah. <laughs> Caesar dressing, obviously. I think but, but I think what makes a Caesar salad good is like there's the crunch of the crouton, and you would just get soggy bread no, mixed up. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. no it no. becomes like a real ice cream. Yeah. Oh, like, no it's way. just perfectly blended. And then you this can is add not the an ad. after and mix it. Yeah. So if there was like, if I want some like parm in there, it would leave some chunks potentially. You could do the chunks You'd after. You'd mix it in. Yeah, oh, yeah. you mix There's it in. If it was in though, feature. it would There's just be like blended perfectly in. into the ice cream. Okay, so you would blend like the lettuce, the dressing. Yeah. Whatever else is in a Caesar salad, lemon, <laughs> like lemon, yeah. yeah, and then that would blend, yeah. and then yeah. you take it out and you put in some croutons and like parm and mix that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. honestly, it sounds pretty good. No, doesn't sound good, it. but I'll like I sure. see now with the dressing, like the turkey and gravy would be weird. My concern is just like the thickness of it, though. Like, what would make it like it'd be just runny, wouldn't it? Or I guess because it's frozen. No, no, yeah, it's frozen, so it would be like a. Yeah, you have a lot of prep for this because you have to freeze it for a full twenty-four yeah, hours. Yeah. If if we get a like a. Ninja sponsorship out of this? Would we? Would you do it? I, he's, I would he's do it right now. Do it at our house, like last week. It would, he was like, it would crush. He had a stir fry last week and was like, "Wonder what would happen if I stuck it in the ninja?" And I was like, "Do not do that. All of our stuff is gonna taste like teriyaki sauce." That is the exact blueprint on how to go viral. <laughs> <laughs> Several blueprints. I, I actually have some like my idea bank is. Are we gonna start bubbling. a new channel after this? 
Like maybe. Maybe three? Possibly, yeah. Three new channels. Card channel, life coach channel, ice cream channel. Nice. And if anybody uses these ideas, make sure you tag us. We need to see them. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I love you. Bye. <laughs> see you later.